Let's talk about this deal uh, negotiated by Senators Lankford, Murphy, and Cinema. Uh, I understand that you have issues with it. A, a lot of people have issues with it. The National Border Patrol Council, which is the union for Border Patrol agents, which is a very conservative group, they support this legislation. They say this is better than nothing. It should become law. Are you saying that the Border Patrol Union is wrong? Yes. A human. <laughs> If, if, if that's what they still believe, they're wrong. It's not better than nothing. Look, there are some things in that bill that we should do. You know, change the asylum standard and the like. Here's what else the bill, uh, bill did. You know, the bill basically creates an, an asylum core. Okay, it, it creates a bunch of, you know, thousands of bureaucrats, basically agents, uh, asylum agents, that would be empowered right at the border to either allow people into the country with an immediate work permit, today they gotta wait six months, you give them an immediate work permit, you're gonna have more people coming, that's a huge magnet. Or they have the power to immediately release them and grant them asylum, which now puts them on a five-year path to citizenship, which is what a lot of Democrats want. They wanna turn a bunch of illegal immigrants into voters, into citizens, into voters, in the hopes that those people will then turn around and vote for them in future elections, grateful because they'll know who let them in. This is, this that's a huge problem. That doesn't solve the border, it makes it worse. This doesn't provide a path to citizenship for any of these people, just to clarify, but but the, the races- Yes, it does. You Absolutely it does. No, no, yes, it does. When you have asylum, you are on a path to citizenship. An asylum, when you get asylum, you are a year away from a green card and four years away from citizenship. But Absolutely you, it does. But you said you approved and, and, and of the asylum changes. have the changes. power to grant you asylum, not even a judge, a bureaucrat. But the judges, as you know, are not judges per se. They're immigration judges. They are, it's a different kind of judge. It's, an, it's basically an immigration attorney who's empowered to be an immigration judge. You know that. But, but the, the, you, you said that you liked the changes to asylum. I mean, they raise the standard for asylum. The people who support this bill say it is uh, a much needed. Senator Langford calls it by far the most conservative border security bill in four decades. Tapper's totally wrong on this, and let me explain why. 95% of the people who are coming right now don't meet the standards that we already have. The number of people who are actually given asylum is around 40% because all someone has to do is convince, quote, immigration officials that they have a, quote, credible fear of returning home, which can and is broadly interpreted. Even according to Obama, that's not what asylum was meant for. Uh, and as I explained to uh, my fellow presidents, uh, under U.S. law, uh, you know, we admit a certain number of refugees from all around the world based on some fairly narrow criteria. Uh, and typically, refugee status is not granted just based on uh, economic need or uh, because a family lives in a bad neighborhood or poverty. Uh, it's typically defined uh, fairly narrowly. You have a state, for example, that was targeting a political uh, activist uh, and they need uh, to uh, get out of the country uh, for fear of prosecution or even death. And yet all of these people are still being let in under the guise of asylum. So yeah, raising the standards for asylum won't matter because they already don't meet those standards and the people at the border are letting them in anyway. Joe Biden, Democrats, and the media have been totally okay with this up until now when they're trying to pass blame off onto the Republicans. And I think we've talked about the reason for that on this channel many times. Marco Rubio just alluded to it. That Democrats want this unrelenting flow into the country and that whites become a minority because they think that's going to turn the red states blue and give them a permanent majority and the wave still continues it's not going to stop nor should we want it to stop an unrelenting stream of immigration non-stop fewer than 50 percent of the people in america from then and on will be white european stock white people will be replaced as the majority of the people in the country that's not racist to say that just is just a fact the question becomes why are you so upset about that. The census that just came out especially drives home the point that Texas is next. It's a state where the demographics are changing in ways that are favorable to the Democratic Party. Demographic changes that help the Democrats. Democrats for a decade now, along with Arizona and Texas, have had on this sort of long-term project of, of trying to take uh, some red states across the Sun Belt and flip them blue as demographic changes are taking place. It's just another one of the ways the Democrat Party's trying to achieve a one-party state. Include of course, uh, the 2013 c compromise that you negotiated as part of the Gang of Eight. This bill 
uh, would have allowed the administration to temporarily, temporarily shut down the border. It included funding for the border wall. It would have made it much more difficult to claim asylum. It added detention beds. It added ICE agents. It added deportation flights and asylum officers. And it has none of the Democratic priorities that were included in your 2013 compromise, such as a path to citizenship. Here's the thing. We already have laws on the books. We already have ICE agents. We already have a border patrol, but they're not doing their jobs. In fact, the federal border patrol was actually helping these people to get through defenses that were put up, which is exactly why Texas started taking defense of their own border. Why isn't that a win for Republicans? Well, first of all, you went through a list of long things that I don't agree with. First of all, it doesn't shut down the border. It creates the ability to shut down the border, but it also gives the president the ability to say, we're not gonna do it. The, the emergency is suspended because it's not in our national interest to do this. By the way, you still have to process, I believe, 1,400 illegal immigrants a day, even in one of these emergencies, and it goes away in three years. The other thing it does is it doesn't touch the parole program which is one of the loopholes the president has used to release all these people into this country. He's paroling them in. That's not even asylum. You talk about the asylum, about the judges, the immigration judges. Here's the difference. Those judges, their decision can be overruled by the attorney general. The attorney general could actually step in and overrule them. These asylum officers that they're this asylum corps they're going to create, they can't even be overturned by the attorney general. These people would have the power right at the border to grant people asylum. And, and a lot of people don't talk about that, but it's right there in the law. It does that. As far as the standard of, yeah, it's good to change the standard, but it's going to be applied. And, and it ultimately going to be applied by an administration that, that has proven its unwillingness to enforce our immigration laws. This entire crisis began in January of 2021 when the president decided for the first time in American history that we were going to release every virtually 85, 90 percent of any migrant that crossed the border, right, including this, this single, would change that, single right? men. But this would change that. Isn't this better no. than the status quo? No, it would not change that. How would it change that? It would be not change that. Because it would allow, it would allow more people to be uh, turned turn back and, and return to the country they came from because the asylum claim standard <laughs> is so much higher. No, again, these people already don't meet the standard for asylum, which is already pretty high. Like I showed you in that clip from Obama, asylum was never meant for economic migrants or people trying to get out of bad neighborhoods. It's specifically for people who have been targeted by their government due to some intrinsic quality. But now with Democrats in control, asylum has just become a magic word that these people can use to jump ahead of the immigration line and become good Democrat voters. It is not so much higher. It, it's, it, again, it's going to be interpreted at the border by people who've shown a propensity to interpret it very liberally. They're, that's the reason why they're letting them in now. Exactly. Because they're basically saying, we think you might have a chance at asylum. We're going to release you. Now, in the hands of another administration, perhaps that asylum standard could be applied differently. But ultimately, once you have this asylum core hired by Mayorkas, hired by Biden, put at the border, they're going to be, they will have the power if they want. They will have the power to either release people pending a future hearing with an immediate work permit, which is going to draw hundreds of thousands of more people into our country, or they are going to be able to give them asylum right there and then on the spot. And that is a pathway to citizenship. Asylum is a pathway to citizenship. Here's the facts. Immigration exploded under Joe Biden's regime, who took 12 executive order actions to reverse Trump era immigration policies that were keeping the numbers significantly lower. And as we well know, Democrats for years now have openly expressed their desire to flood the country with illegal immigration and openly admitting this will benefit them politically. Lastly, this bill would have done nothing but arbitrarily raise some standards that already aren't being enforced when they're slightly lower standards obviously for their own political gain all right folks what do you think let me know in the comments or reach out to me on discord or you can find me on my patreon but if you don't want to support me in any of those ways if you're still here might as well hit that like button all right folks thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one